local news eight in the morning continues. Hey, welcome back. It's now 656. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the city of Pocatello is still working to clean up after an oil spill at Pocatello Creek. It was reported Wednesday afternoon. Oil skimmers are helping the crews collect what oil is still in the water. The Environmental Protection Agency says the creek seems to be the only thing impacted. Number two, Idaho clerks say they're encountering misinformation circulating among the electorate. They say much of the false or misleading information originates on social media. So they are urging people to report any voting rights or voter fraud concerns to officials. And number three, 150 Idaho National Guard members are now back home after a year-long deployment to Southwest Asia in support of Operation Spartan Shield. As some of our National Guard soldiers return home, 600 more Idaho soldiers are taking their place, supporting allies across the globe. Well, you can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com, and be sure to download our app. Let's check back in with Jeff. Okay, here's your forecast for the morning hours. We've got those winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, and radar picking up on showers pretty much every. Let me show you this map again. We got a little extra time here. I can show you all of this. As you take a look around, you'll see where the wind advisory is now into play there for Bingham County till about 11 o'clock as you head down to Pocatello. Uh, we got winter storm warnings in effect for the areas that shaded in pink. This is the upper highlands in western Wyoming over toward Driggs. Winter weather advisories for salmon and the southeastern highlands and that winter storm watch as you head over toward Lincoln County and the Star Valley. So this is going to be one of these wispy days around here where the temperatures start off in the 40s and drop through the course of the day. And that's the recipe for the snow that will be here into the nighttime hours as we check into winter. It feels almost official now, doesn't it? Look at this cold front. This thing is going to whip through here and the cold air behind it will help us make that changeover. It's going to be in the 30s tonight. And then we've got some really cold air after all of this system moves through here that will take our temperatures into the 20s this week and into the single digits. But we're starting with some heavier showers, maybe even some lightning this morning. You may even have some snow thunder out there, some thunder snow. Uh, we will see deepening snows into the nighttime hours. And if this system stalls out, some accumulations of several inches, maybe half a foot into the southeastern highlands. So with the rain snow mix, it's hard to determine just exactly how much is going to be there. But it's just going to be one of those nasty days. 40 degrees to start off with in Jackson, but the temperatures drop. You're going to see continuing snowy conditions all the way into Wednesday. And this front will take a minute to get there. Pocatello, we begin with rain. We start mixing things up. You could see fog and it may be, uh, have some visibility issues, especially with the wind that is going to be out there too. It may be tough to travel. It'll be freezing tonight and that's where we're headed for the afternoon temperatures. So we're cooling off through the course of the day today. It's going to be about 46 uh, for the high today in Idaho Falls, but things will start cooling off. And when we come back here at lunchtime, you'll see what I'm talking about as that front approaches and we continue with the rain snow mix around here and a cold, cold week ahead. They've just come out with the most beautiful baby names. They are Matthew and Sophia, followed by Julian and William and the women Zoe and Emily. So we want to know what what's the most unique maybe baby name that you've heard. <laughs> oh boy. 208-534-9957 <laughs> oh well. on the Hollaback line. Yes, those unique baby names mm -hmm. that you've heard. Let me know. 208-534-9957. Yes. I feel like we could devote a whole half hour show to that. <laughs> I'm from Utah and I live in Idaho, so I have heard plenty. Oh, yes. We're going to have a fun conversation about this. Well, I'm from the See South. See you at noon. Yeah. <laughs>